I, I always thought that was a little pretentious, the golden age of television, because a lot of it wasn't so golden. But there were some wonderful things done. And I, th I, of course, I think already that the vitality for the writer has gone because Playhouse 90 tried to preserve it, but they went in a lot for adaptations and did very little original work. Why do you think that was? I think it because of marketing, you know, because uh, again, they wanted, they also had the, um, had a whole thing of using movie stars in the twilight of their careers. So the whole kind of emphasis began away from the writer towards like a name playwright or a name novelist or a name this or a name that. And, you know, and in the supporting cast would be Charles Bickford or Beulah Bondi or, you know, all movie stars at one time were looking for other kind of work. You know, just a whole different atmosphere. It was ser still serious and they did good work. I don't doubt that. But it wasn't like Fred's operation. And then, and then Fred became a great Broadway producer, very successful. And, um, you know, began to go in different directions. And I think he resented not, I think he really loved it when he was kind of in charge and, and was creative in a sense, bringing creative writers in and, you know, and creating projects. But like all those things, I think it was a spontaneous thing. And I don't think it was, I think certain things happen at certain times that if it happened differently, it would have been different. I think Fred Go deserves an enormous amount of credit. Um, because I think he had innate taste and um, had a great feeling for writers. And certainly, I mean, you think of Gore Vidal and you think of Barry Chayefsky, you think of J.P., you think of, uh, oh, I just go on and on and on and on. The writers that he nurtured and, um, and on writers who didn't really make a mark but, but uh, were fascinating talents. And it's a wonder he, they, I don't know why Fred never did anything. I know he'd worked on things with them. I mean, I'm thinking of um, the writer that did House of Breath, that lovely novel about Texas. Um, well, his name has escaped me. But that's the kind of writer that is not a conventional writer that Fred had a wonderful instinct about and uh, usually nurtured. And I think the reason he didn't take this writer further, I think he did do a draft of, on Billy the Kid, that film that Fred did with uh, Arthur, was it? Fred's reign and was kind of being taken away from him in play uh, in, in uh, Goodyear uh, for whatever reason. I, don't, I, I was gone by that time and I didn't know why it began to diminish. So maybe he wanted to leave, I don't know. We never discussed it. Because until the end, you know, he was full of projects. But mostly he'd gone towards theater and movies.